Hey guys, welcome back to Star Ocean, the second story R. We are basically jumping into the next dungeon, which is the Sacred Grounds of Linga. But before we do that, actually, I wanted to make my way back quickly and just check this exclamation mark. I really want to see what it is. I think it's actually just literally the leaving town. It's kind of giving us the option, I think, but just to double check, let's see what happens here. Brought something back, have you? Let's have a look. Here are the goods. What do you think? Come on, guys. You seriously think this is an undiscovered species of herb? <sighs> Sorry, this ain't gonna work. A child could have brought this back for me. Try again, huh? So it's basically telling us we have to get the one at the back of the at the back of the uh, dungeon which is fine we'll make our way back now this is going to be quite a long dungeon so let's uh, let's begin so we'll go with oh man this is gonna be tough I'm gonna use this item that I have though called because I've been doing a lot of counterfeiting just to get some of these counterfeit metals which helps us grind we can get Claude um, we can get them quite high in level okay let's quickly look at the map it looks like we can go let's give this a try if we go this way the next enemy we there we go we leveled up already so I think one more level and we'll uh, get the trophy for getting someone to level 100. Let's use a counterfeit metal on... Or maybe we'll wait for them to... We'll wait for them to level up and then we'll use the counterfeit metals on them. Okay, here's a chest. Maybe I should just keep on leveling up Claude. Oh, it's these guys. Look at that, we're basically just one-shotting everything. Sweet. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Yeah, that's not the one we're looking for. Okay, I don't think we can go that way. Nope. This place is very confusing. You know what, let's keep leveling up. Let's use some more of these on Claude. Oh, we can't. Okay, well that makes sense. Um, we could try to increase her a little bit. The uh, the counterfeit metal is actually really good for. It is quite a rare thing to get during the doing the counterfeiting, but when you do get it, you uh, I got about five of them, I think, or six of them, all at basically one after another. So I don't know if that was just pure luck. Okay, hang on a sec. Let's go to. I don't think this even... No, okay, hang on. We'll go... It's all very confusing, as you can see. Okay, we'll go grab this chest now. That's the most important thing, is I don't want to miss the chests. Because we do have the challenge for getting as many chests as we can. I think it's like 200 or 300 chests. Okay, back at the start. So let's go this way for now. Actually, hang on, we'll go left first. Now 
now we can finally get it okay sure about... we'll just skip through that conversation every time um let's quickly look at our missions there we go break booster so that was a, a tactic i believe Hmm. So hang on here, let's see. We should be able to increase some of his stuff here. I'm thinking we'll try to get I think everything that I got him his at 10 is fine, so we'll just keep on doing random ones, I guess. Try to get as many more to 10 as we can. Combat skill, I think he's almost to... Uh... We just have one more... One more skill we need to get to 10 and then he'll be maxed out. Straight up from here. Okay. Trying to look. Go this way. Okay, we have that thing there, you can see. This will lead us back around, so yeah, we don't have to go this way. Okay, so this is where we have to figure things out. So if we jump down here, no, that'll just lead us back down, I think. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. I probably should have pulled up a guide or like a diagram or something to help me, but I feel like the fact that you can pretty much see the whole thing is fine, but just as long as you don't miss any chests. Oh wait, we'll grab this one first. I guess we're closest. Sweet. Are you sure? Chain of might. That's a good thing to have. Okay, so we have another herb here. Let's grab that. Are you? Yeah, I think we can make our way... Actually, I think we can go this way. And now... Yeah, we can make our way... Around... Ah! Oh, of course we got back attacked. feel like we will likely do fine fighting the boss here. There is, I think we can actually grab a herb. If I remember correctly, there's a herb that we can grab that will allow us to move forward, but there is also one that will get us one extra item and will also allow us to fight a boss. So we'll just make sure to grab both of them. All right, now we can move forward. 
Oh, hang on. I just had to fiddle with my gear there for a second. This dungeon's really not that big, but it's more the twists and turns and stuff like that. The, the upper and lower paths that kind of screw you up. So let's go... So I think the, the plant that we can take, I think is this one. Yeah. Sweet. So this is the one. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. I don't know about that. It's new to me, but maybe it wouldn't be to Bowman. Well, we'll just have to show him and see. Let's go back to the pharmacy. Yeah, so that's the one we can go back, but we can make our way to the right over here and grab another. The actual plant that he's looking for, basically. And there will be a boss as well. And we're missing... okay. I was gonna say, I think we're missing... Aw, oh, did not mean to get backstabbed. Oh, it didn't even back... See, that time I should've got backstabbed. That was easier than I thought. Okay, do I wanna jump? No, I don't. We are going to the right. Danger ahead. Monsters appear. Monsters appear beyond this point. Okay. Twin splicers. Okay, so we will check that lower path later. I don't know if there would be anything there. Quickly save here. Yeah, wow. Look at how much damage we're doing. I find it a little insane how overpowered we are. I'm surprised there's no voice acting right now. Grab this. There we go. Sweet. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. You're right. I definitely haven't seen anything like this before. Excellent. Let's go see what Bowman thinks. And we got our two chests. Let's praise that armor quickly while we're We can handle this. A shield. Okay, so we can make our way down now, we'll make our way to the right. And if there's anything there. I can't remember if there is or not, so. I don't imagine there will be, otherwise it would probably show up on the map. And that would be down... 
up this way, I believe. Well, I'd say that's worth ten out of ten. Ah, uh, just trying to run by. Well, there is something over here. Okay. Just a plant, but still. Not really worth it. Let's get the heck out of here. Now we can finally recruit Bowman. Brought something back, have you? Let's have a look. Here are the goods. What do you think? Whoa! What have you found? Is it good? I haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks. Where did you find this stuff? So it's a winner then? Guys, this isn't a winner. It's a major scientific breakthrough. Major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care about? You people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in touch with Keith right away. Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. Yeah, so now I don't imagine there's anything. No. This actually, this bridge is actually a really good spot to fish if you are in need of getting that challenge completed. Keith must be a pretty busy man. We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! Keith! You there? Keith! Keith! Great. He's not here. <laughs> What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. Oh, uh, Dr. Gene. Yeah, just call me Bowman. Is Keith in? Oh, uh, yes. Just a moment. Please, come in. Excuse me, sir. Heavens, did you bring the whole town with you, Bowman? Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? What do you mean? These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. You think we're just distractions? He didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell him what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes. Finding it was difficult enough, but it's just too old for us to make any sense of. Hmm. Well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. This is it. My goodness. We have a potentially monumental discovery. Really? Hmm. 
This resembles an ancient robotic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. Certainly. Go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. <laughs> you actually thanked me. We're probably gonna see pigs fly before long. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, everyone left. Wonder why. I guess we're all... I think we're almost honestly done with chapter one. I'm so glad to finally be moving forward with this game, honestly. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Oh, no need for that. Myself? I'm interested in this crazy adventure you guys threw yourself into more than anything. Oh, um... The way you folks carried on about the sorcery globe over dinner, I thought you were married to it. So, you're really gonna travel to L and take a look for yourself, huh? Well, we'd like to, yes. Did you actually think I'd let you walk away after giving me such a tantalizing story? Huh? Every expedition needs an experienced, knowledgeable scientist in the party, doesn't it? Oh. So, I'm suggesting you take old Bowman and his many years of experience along. I assure you, you won't regret it. We will let him join. Really? Well, in that case, we'd love to have you. Ha <laughs> ha! You're a smart shopper, kid. This isn't exactly a shopping trip. Well, anyway, you're leaving tomorrow morning, aren't you? I better go tell Nene while I have a chance. Good night, Claude. See you tomorrow. So he's going to leave Nene? Just like that? That's interesting. Sorry. I'll be back, I promise. I know you, Bowman. You aren't the sort of person to just leave the house on a lark. Nene. Don't worry. I'll take care of things here for you. Well, I'd say it's about time to set off. You sure about that? You haven't even said goodbye to Nene. Well, what do you want me to do? Go up to her and say in front of all of you guys? Oh, my sweetest of loves, I swear I'll return for you. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> you young people get all romantic at the drop of a hat, don't you? Well... I'll see you later, Nene. Sure. Have fun out there. Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. We'll need to ask the King of Lacour to send out a ship for us. He's right. And while we're in Lacour, we better make sure we have all the equipment and supplies we need. I'll carve a chunk off the sorcery globe and bring it home for you, Nene. Sure, honey. That would be nice. There we go. So one thing I do recommend, guys, um, if you have the, I believe it's the writing skill, um, more importantly, the publication skill, you can actually write books for people. And I've done it for everybody now leading up to Welch, um, for Bowman, 
for example, we can write a book that will change your relationship with Bowman to level 28. So I would recommend just, as soon as somebody new joins your party, just write the book. All right, let's go. And then use it on Claude so you can have his relationship with Bowman be uh, level 28. And you can pretty much do that with all of the party members and you can make it so that you can do uh, for example if you wanted to um, write a book for um, let's say Claude you wanted to write one for Claude all right, let's go. and um, your relation let's say your relationship with opera was lower you could use that book I just got one for Claude just for that way we can um, get the next character instead of having to write that one for that character but apparent like basically it'll just increase the status so you can go here and look so now Bowman is at level 28 as you can see and uh, you can affect the relationship with each other as well Which is very weird. I don't know why um, Welsh's relationship went down a little bit, it looks like. I'm not sure why. So now, look at that, we have tons of PAs we can do. I think we will honestly just start doing all these just to get them done. I know this. there's a couple of them here that are not timed, but we might as well just do all of them while they're here. So we are going into this house. So it seems they know Bowman. So I think, I think we'll just go with the top one. Yeah, so I think that's basically There we go So with that done We will make our way to Salva Just in case, let's make sure we actually save out on the world map. Actually, I don't even know if you have to go out on the world map. Hang on, let me test that out. I don't think you have to. I forgot this crystal's here too. I'm playing too many JRPGs at once that I'm getting them mixed up. Oh, but anyway, PA mode. So it looks like we have two of them here.
so we'll just agree and go with the top one. <laughs> yeah, so that is it for this place. So now we'll make our way to Cross City. The point of doing these guys is just to increase your once you get the trophy for doing, I think it's 20 of them, the point of doing them after that is basically just to affect your relationship to get all the endings. Bowman is actually hilarious. So this doesn't affect our relationship with him at all, so you can go with either or. Oh my god. Well, that escalated quickly. Yeah, so that's pretty much all it is for that. Now we'll make our way to Harley. Bowman, wasn't it? But who was that woman with him? Doctor, will my daughter be okay?
Could I speak with you privately for a moment, madam? I'm going to be honest with you. She's in a very precarious situation right now. She's in remission for the time being, but I can't say she's making much progress towards eradicating the disease from her body. In fact, it's slowly getting worse. Oh no. Isn't there anything we can do? If money is the problem, I can pay you whatever you want, no matter how many years it takes. I apologize, madam, but this is beyond my abilities. Oh, Eleanor, my Eleanor. Yo, Claude. So you're here, huh? Did something happen, Bowman? I was headed to a bar when I ran into this beautiful lady along the way. She told me about how her child was suffering from this illness. I decided to take a look at her to see if I could do anything about it. Oh, now I get it. But I'm at a total loss. I couldn't even give her a diagnosis. Yeah, so that's it for that one. Now we can make our way to Linga. Which is weird that we can't fast travel to it. Well, I guess because we're in. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Looks to be our last PA for this section. Now these, the PA we just did with that character Eleanor, um, that quest line can actually affect the character Ashton, um, can affect his ending. I've got it! I finally got it! What, what is it, Bowman? What are you shouting for? Oh, sorry, sorry. Forgot I'm in a library. Anyway, I finally found a reference to the disease that little girl is suffering from. Really? The IRO's disease pathogen works itself into the carrier's body system, slowly eating its way in. There are virtually no recorded cases of patients making a full recovery from the disease. But there are several reports of a legendary herb known as Matorx possibly proving to be an effective treatment. What kind of herb could this Matorx be? Or is it an herb at all? I still don't have much to go on, but at the very least, this is something that we can try. All we have to do is find some of that Matorx and we could potentially be in business. Matorx? That's not all, either. Nobody knows today where this legendary Matorx grows anymore. The old folklore gives us only one lead to go on. It says that the herb can be found on a mountain where the phoenix's breath flows. A mountain where the phoenix's breath flows? I don't know exactly which mountain that would be, but at the very least, we know that the Matorx is on a mountain somewhere. Bowman, where are you going? What do you think? I'm off to look for some Matorx. What? <laughs> but you don't even know what mountain it could be growing on. I can't just let my patient suffer by herself. I don't care how slim the chances are. If there's a way to help the sick, then it's a doctor's duty to risk his life for it. In that case, why don't you let us go with you then? What? But you aren't even... It'll go a lot faster if we all look for it together, wouldn't it? I'm sure everyone's up for it. Thanks. All right. 
So now that that is done, we can make our way to, uh, well, it looks like there's another. Okay, we got a couple things to do. So in Linga, we'll just go back to the town street. We have another PA to do. I guess it's still in the same spot. So I guess we didn't even have to leave. Yeah, these conversations can kind of go on for a long time. Hmm. Skip through that. Okay. Now. Back to the Lasgus Mountains, which is where we fought that giant bird, I think, if I remember correctly. So it should just be right up here. Ah, oh, damn it, I was trying to avoid it. Say that's worth 10 out of 10. There it is. This is it. We got it. Great work, Claude. We don't have a moment to lose. Let's get this back to Harley immediately. You got it, Bowman. And back to Harley, here we go. Let's go, Claude. I'm ready, Bowman. Madam, how's your daughter doing? It's an emergency, Doctor. She she just collapsed. All of a sudden, please, Doctor, help my daughter. Help my Eleanor. What? She's in a coma. So it's already advanced this far. This medicine made from Matorx will help her out. But... But what? It all depends on whether this girl has enough strength left for it. What? How can this be? In her current state, it's a coin flip for her life. Iero's disease spreads through the body pretty slowly. She could probably survive for another year like this. Another year? But with that frail body of hers, if the girl's too weak to withstand the effects of the medicine, 
then it could be enough to kill her as soon as tomorrow. And, of course, if we don't apply the medicine as soon as possible, her chances of surviving will only get worse and worse. I think it's up to you to decide on this, ma'am. Do you want your daughter to live a life in confinement for the next year? Or do you want to make that one big bet on the future? Oh. How am I supposed to make that decision? I understand completely. It's your daughter's life that hangs in the balance. How about you decide for her, Claude? Oh, but... I know what you're gonna say. But what if this girl dies because of a decision her mother made? Do you think her heart is strong enough to sustain that blow? The responsibility needs to lie on someone else's shoulders. I understand. Alright, this is where we have to make a choice. I honestly think the best choice is probably to take the chance. Um, this one will essentially just end the quest line and then this one will give us an opportunity. Uh, there is a small chance that she can be cured, but uh, it will give us points with Bowman either way. I think we should bet on it. She deserves the chance of a full recovery instead of being sentenced to a slow and painful end. I don't want to see this girl just wither away helplessly in bed for the next year. Her life's only just begun. Gotta agree with you there. Is that okay with you, madam? Yes. Please go ahead. Good. As the doctor in the house, I'll take over from here. Huh? B A person's life is far, far more precious than you could possibly imagine. It's too much to ask for either one of you to shoulder it by yourself. Bowman! How'd it go? We'll just have to see how well the girl handles it. Call it strength, call it persistence, call it whatever you will. Everything depends on how much desire she has to live. We'll just have to believe in her. So what are you going to do now, Bowman? I'm going to stay by her side a little longer. Okay, the patient's yours, Doc. And now that one's done. So now we can make our way to Lacquer City. You people are evacuating to Lacour, right? Evacuating? Sheesh, didn't you hear the news? Monsters destroyed the L Kingdom. Their hordes are marching for Lacour as we speak. What? I'm sure we'll slaughter them once they reach the front line base. Until then, the area north of Lacour is going to be a battlefield. That's why we're evacuating everyone into the castle. We want to join the fight too. You have any idea what you're saying? You'll just drag us down. We need you inside Lacour Castle. Now go on. All right. So Nothing more to do now, except move on with the main story, but we're going to go ahead and save. And I'm actually going to end the video here, guys. So um, we got quite a bit done in this video, and I'm really looking forward to pressing on uh, with the main story now. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.